One week from today is World Parkinson's Day, which happens every year on April 11th. The day commemorates the birthday of Dr. James Parkinson's, who first recognized it as a medical condition. Van Andel Institute has been a big player in groundbreaking discoveries that have turned into clinical trials. And joining us right now here on set, Darren Moore, who leads a lab in Van Andel Research Institute Center for Neurodegenerative Science. Thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Yeah, thanks for inviting me. Well, tell us a little bit about where we're at with Parkinson's disease in general. Right, so um, we understand a lot about the actual disease and its symptoms. So it's a very common movement disorder, um, but it affects other parts of the body as well. So for instance, you can have uh, non-movement symptoms such as constipation, sleep disturbances, psychiatric symptoms, dementia. Um, where we are, I think, is we understand a lot about the genetic basis of the disease and a lot of what we do at the Institute is based around that type of research. But in, uh, in general, we still don't have any therapies that will stop the disease in its tracks. We have symptomatic therapies. Okay, you guys are doing, like you say, incredible work there. What kinds of research exactly is happening at the Institute we're working on? Right, yeah, so um, we focus, we have a number of faculty that kind of focus on uh, genetic risk, trying to understand how genes contribute to the disease. And some of those genes become really great drug targets that we can try and develop therapies to. The other area you may have heard of before is uh, the, uh, Parkinson's. In the brains of Parkinson's patients, they have these protein clumps. And we work on how those clumps form and why they form and how we can get rid of them. And then we're also working on some kind of strange things. That Parkinson's has been linked to things like infections. So if you have an infection at some point in your life, you may be at higher risk of Parkinson's. And we work on trying to understand why those infection, infections may increase your risk. Mm -hmm. mm, so a lot of different angles approaching yes. this disease. Tell okay. us a little bit about some of the clinical trials. Right, so there are clinical trials ongoing through drug companies that have, uh, you know, that have identified key targets. But what we're doing at the Institute is something quite u unique is we have this International Link Clinical Trials Consortium where we actually repurpose FDA approved drugs uh, that have been approved for other diseases like diabetes and things like this. And we try, they have some kind of indication they may work and protect the brain. So we're actually trying to repurpose them in clinical trials uh, for Parkinson's disease. And two of those that we'd, we co-sponsor this with the Cure Parkinson's in the, in the UK. Uh, two of these drugs is a type 2 diabetes drug that's called Exenatide, uh, but it seems to maybe work in Parkinson's. And another dr drug is a cough syrup that's used it widely in Europe, and we're also repurposing this for Parkinson's disease. Those two drugs right now are in phase 3 clinical trials, so we'll know in a few years whether, whether they're effective. So, Exciting, very yeah. interesting things. We mentioned earlier that World Parkinson's Day is April 11th. What can we do to raise awareness, not just on that day, but all, all year round? Well, I think you're doing it right now with, it, with this, but I think um, you know, there's huge social media campaigns right now just to raise awareness of what the disease looks like. Do you know anybody in your family who may have it? But this is also really important for you know, policymakers, politicians, uh, global health organizations to really understand you know, what they can do now to come up with a kind of a, a plan for Parkinson's to attack this disease and you know hopefully cure it in the next decade so yeah, uh, yeah just spread the word spread the word All right. Darren Moore thank you so much for joining us from the Van Andel Institute it's it's encouraging to hear it about is. the strides that are being made yeah. and being made against this sure yeah it's yeah. exciting times yeah. thanks for coming thank in. you thanks